We're live, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hats, cats, and other folk. As always, I am Joe. Welcome to Sofa Justice Warriors Live. I don't have a political rant today. I should. The man baby is tweeting. And he's tweeting some scary shit about Iran and Afghanistan and, it, er, and uh, Pakistan, excuse me. And I'm worn out. <clears throat> so, what are we doing today? We are playing a game. This is my, my deep, dirty shame. There's a mainline Super Mario game. I don't really uh, have a lot of experience with. I missed this when it came out on the Super Nintendo because it cost like 80 bucks. And I just didn't have the money. So I played it a little, never finished it. Paradise is Yoshi's Island, where all the Yoshis live. They're all in an uproar over the baby that fell from the sky. The baby seems to know where he wants to go. Bond of the twins, blah blah blah. Casper says, premise sure is weird so far, yes. It's also weird because if the Yoshi's new baby Mario, why did Yoshi introduce that? Nah, I don't know. Eh. Trying to put your, wrap your head around the Super Mario canon as an exercise in uh, ridiculousness. See, already, this is, this is Nintendo's start with explaining a game to you and giving you tutorials instead of designing a level that forces you to learn how to play the game. Like, come on, guys, you invented how to do this with level 1-1 one, one of Super Mario. I guess they're kind of doing it still. That's nice. How's the sound there, Casp? Okay, that wasn't level 1-1, one, one, apparently. It's just fine, that's good. Make eggs, throw eggs. Can do! This game, I've heard, was a reaction to... Uh, Donkey Kong Country having pre-rendered graphics and that really bothering Shigeru Miyamoto. So he went full-on crayon drawing. <laughs> Child storybook style. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. I am not going to bother trying to get all of the red coins and collectibles. <coughs> I 
believe Yoshi is, is often associated with he, him pronouns, and yet Yoshi uh, reproduces by eating enemies and laying eggs. coins are there? 18 out of 20. Oh, this is where the butt stomp came from. I don't know, eating your enemies to reproduce seems to jive with toxic masculinity. <laughs> Fair point. If you're gonna reproduce, you'd best do it in the manliest way. Death to our enemies. Nice. baby sound is something we're all programmed to respond to, and it makes this game, uh, it adds a somewhat annoying dimension to the game. Super don't care. As a person with OCD, I have to decide not to care about that right away. And then let it quietly bother me the entire game. just doesn't stop. out on that one.
That's interesting. As far as I know, there's no way to, like, wall jump, so... I get to turn into a helicopter. <clears throat> what a weird mechanic. too much. Getting most of the daisies and then not getting a bonus game. Disappointing. I'm just kind of guessing it wants me to take this thing with me. that rock for nothing. I 
I see a door with a keyhole. Somewhere there will be a key. What's for dinner? Uh, tonight for dinner is beef roast with black beans and rice. for a one-up. <clears throat> so we were talking about moving to New Zealand yesterday. Iceland just made it illegal to pay women less than men. Maybe we should move to Iceland. I don't know much about Iceland except that their chief export is Bjork and their chief import is everything else. know that Iceland and Greenland should trade names. Yeah, I, I, except I believe both of them are very cold. Holy shit. This is one of those bottle rooms from Mario 2. So there's nothing here. Why is this room here? Both of them are very cold, but Iceland is greener and Greenland is covered with ice. I know Greenland named itself Greenland to get people to move there, you know, to trick them. Unless that's an urban myth. Oh, damn it. That's what the rock is for. All three levels now. I've gotten the straight down on the on the bonus ring for for nothing. For goose egg. 
No, I can't do this anymore, because the white supremacist took that. Like so many other things. So that's something to watch out for. If you see someone doing the OK symbol in a picture, it's very possible they're signaling to you that they're a white supremacist. Not applicable to pictures taken before 2017. Probably not applicable to a lot of pictures that are taken now. Oh, but I like the okay gesture. Yeah, me too, but... It's a thing. Oh my god, the little shy guy's turning the crank. Yeah, I love it too. Shortcut I did not take. This was worth uh, checking out.
shit. Disappeared. Six, die, will ya? I took his pants off, and he embarrassed himself to death. That's good times. down on the show before. <laughs> uh, forced scrolling. Just ignore the daisy. Super didn't need it. Now, I made the decision not to collect everything, but if I see it, I might as well, and that's my problem. Missing two red coins there. But fuck it. Again, same place, exact same circumstances. There are a few things I hate more than force scrolling and side scrollers. A few, few things in video games, I should say. There's plenty more I hate than that. Like things that matter.
podcast burn from this article about Iceland. For the past nine years, Iceland has been ranked by the World Economic Forum as the most gender equal country. Nearly 50% of parliament is made of women, and the new equal pay law, which was introduced in March 2017, faced little opposition. Funny how that works. Not going after the daisy. Fuck the daisy. Iceland sounds awesome. That part of Iceland sounds awesome. <laughs> That's cute. Yoshi's idle animation. I do fear the cold would kill me, yes. I'm really not suited to live anywhere but here. Once you grow up in Seattle and you're like, oh, we have mountains and forests and trees and deserts and... and rainforests and just everything here... Every biome on Earth is contained in, in, in Washington State. I finally get a bonus challenge. strategy to this, aside from dumb luck. And my dumb luck says that I'm gonna get three of the bad things in a row. <laughs> and only two. guys on stilts. That, that sure is shy guys on tilts. Stilts. <laughs> Holy crap. Was where I was supposed to go, and this was the bonus content, but I had it backwards. I like these tubes. Only, uh, they, they, they poop out enough, enough guys for you to get full eggs, and then they stop.
something up on the upper left there, but I can't get it. I supposed to get an egg in there? Have no eggs. I cannot get eggs. I need to shoot an egg into this. Well, fart. flower and one coin short of a perfect score. Mm. Ah! If you've ever wanted to see Mario and Yoshi do drugs, this is the level for you. Though, you know, it could be argued that the mushrooms from the first game were magic mushrooms. Mm -hmm. 
Can we get up there? There's, I'm clearly meant to get up there. I can't stand on any of these thorns. Gather coins. Grab more coins than your enemy before time reaches zero. So far I have zero coins and they have three. Damn it! I'm touching the fucking coin! <laughs> tied it up. Which I guess means I win! What do I get? Nothing. I don't know what these flashing eggs do. Ready to take some drugs, kids? Here we go. And this isn't just visual, like... Whew. Okay, I'm glad that's over. I use my magic flashing eggs, and I don't know how they were different. <clears throat> ah. We've made it through our acid trip. things. I have 
two watermelons now. <clears throat> What are these two levels after the... That's weird. I bet you have to get a perfect on everything or something and then you get those levels. Listen to... Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. That's the Song of Storms! Just that part, though. Oh, that's lava! <clears throat> Super good to know. Up and blocks my chance. There we go. I know there's something in the top left. Yeah, I got it. I should have loaded up on eggs, and I didn't. flip when I hit the green one maybe there's a red one somewhere else damn it this room feels like one of the mansions from Castlevania 2 No eggs! So we do that. Oh, blurn. I don't understand this jump. Okay, I have 
to flip this. have to flip it again, but I have no eggs, so there must be eggs down here. Yep. And now, boss. <clears throat> this might be the farthest in the game I've been. I'm not entirely sure. I've played levels beyond this on a friend's save file. Stars popped out of him, and then I literally couldn't go get them, so that was dumb. <laughs> Visit Koopa and Paracoopa, sure thing. Oh, you can't eat them. Sight. It's kind of adorable that you get to be little baby Mario running around with his, with his cape. <clears throat> I want to get 
get more of them coins. Didn't work out at all. Okay, these blocks fall. At least that one did. dog's name is Poochie. Really? Really? He is cute, isn't he? Hitch a ride. He runs in the direction that Yoshi faces. Okay. He dropped me on spikes and killed me before I could hit the ring! I didn't know instant death spikes were a thing in this game, but there they were. to get that with, with which to get that. I'm gonna hit that ring this time. Death spikes. Concern it. Oh, I've seen somebody play this. It's Tetris. Only I'm at the bottom of it. Thank <laughs> you. 
crap! I don't see how to get out of that. This is a problem. At least I get to just continuously die here until I get it right. This is where it was last time, and it didn't go well, so get the fuck out of there. There we go. I made it! I don't care about getting the rest of those! Fuck that noise! Oh shit! was planned at all. <laughs> Just send them all flying down pits. That's that's fucking lovely. do this again. I bet you, I bet you good money. I said this is the farthest I've ever been. I kind of remember doing this. I bet you I got to this point in the game and went, this isn't fun. Because <laughs> this is not fun. Redoing this same boring fucking Tetris section. Accessible to me. Yeah, now I gotta do that dumbass Tetris section again. And if I weren't doing this for Twitch, I would quit. We're about 20 minutes away from my, my break. Mario down here. Bring Mario down here. There we go. All right. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. 
Oh god. <clears throat> no like. Running away. I thought I had a key. Krugman420. Hey there, sofa friend. Hello! My other guests seem to have left. You might be alone in chat. Glad to see people using leftism. I'm glad that it was a tag! Because you pretty much know what you're gonna get. Oh, Casper is still here. Okay. They catch, and then they throw it back at me. All right. Don't sound too disappointed. I'm not disappointed. I'm glad you're here. Okay, so I know what those do now. Crap. Oh, okay. So hit it to this guy. He pitches it to this dude. Ow! Sofa looks mighty comfy. It sure is. You had to make- you made the leftism tag? That's awesome, thank you. <sighs> now when I- I talk on stream about wanting full gay space communism now, <laughs> people will be surprised. Add your name so people know the tag is actually in use, okay? Sure enough. Might get you a view or two. Now I'm intimidated. I wasn't expecting a lot of people today. <laughs> but sure. Okay, so that turns me into... Baby Mario. Casper and Joe. No one watches my show. Also, Joe, I don't want too many people watching my show. <laughs> yeah, that's the, uh, that's the dynamic. I would love it if there were thousands of people watching my show, but I don't want ten people. I, I it's, it's, it's a weird... Okay, now I'm spitting ice breath. Neat. I'm happy for every viewer I get, don't get me wrong. It's just that, you know, I'm shy. And I'm not super good at this game. <laughs>
too bad uh, some of the usual suspects aren't here because we 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 get into the we get into the political chat. No. Oh, <laughs> it was like two pixels away. I usually open every day, every day's show with a rant, a political rant. Not today, though. Well, there is always plenty to rant about. Amazingly, I have yet to 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 see a Trumpist come in here and troll me. I think they see the name and just go, "Ugh, fucking bland," and that's it. Why couldn't I? I, I okay. I guess I shouldn't complain about being lost when there are literally arrows showing me where to go. Oh. That was my one chance. I have no eggs. site needs progressives real bad. It sure fucking does. And Casper says the same. Does this guy not respawn? Yeah, this site definitely needs some progressives. Oh, they're easy to ban here. You're not wrong, and I got mods. I pretty much made just all my regulars mods. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, this is not worth it. Croker's here! Howdy! So, Croker, you know how I use the uh, the leftist tag on all my, my streams? Uh, Krugman here is the one who put that on Twitch. It's like Croker heard the summons. He kind of did. We were talking about how Twitch needs more progressives. There was that bit a couple weeks ago where it was just a lot of people complaining about boob streamers. And the answer, my answer to that is, if someone would literally rather look at tits than hear you talk, maybe that's your problem. <laughs> okay, so there's like weird ghosts. I also never looked left. I bet you there's something. Nope. These guys are like the ghosts of dead bullet bills. What? What is even going on here? These are coin outlines. Thank you. 
not worth it. <laughs> Krugman says, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, this is one of the most relaxing games ever. Everything about it is just so soothing. Everything but the crying baby. <laughs> find Breath of the Wild to be very soothing, Casper says. As do I! That game can be very relaxing. I, I, I've known that for quite a long time, game. Joe, please. Joe, please what? What do you need? Why, why can't I go through there? That's a pit. Pits are bad for your health. <laughs> yes. In the future, I will try to avoid them. <laughs> I'm on a strict no-death diet. Crying baby. Crying baby. Ugh. at the exit. Is the crying baby more or less traumatizing than the drowning Sonic music? Nothing is worse than that drowning Sonic music. That is panic-inducing. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing... Yeah, alright, it's not a pit. Baby Mario! I'm guessing there was a way for me to keep going as Baby Mario, and I missed it. Cool meeting you, too! And thanks for, uh, giving us that tag, because once I saw that, I was like, Yahtzee. <laughs> I'm done with this work thing. I'm over it. <laughs> Gotta build a leftist community here. So far, I have. It's a very small one. But we're all pretty much like... Everything's fucked. sofa can fit a community. That's the hope. Nope. That was about to put. 
push me off a cliff. This is pretty much undoubtedly the farthest I've ever been in this game. <laughs> and I realize I'm not hardly anywhere. Casper says, time for me to go. All right. Take it easy. <laughs> Family can be one baby plumber and many Yoshi. <laughs> Is the plural of Yoshi Yoshi? <laughs> I'm all for it. So now you have me wondering if Yoshi is canonically polyamorous. I cannot egg booze. these Yoshis in, a, in one big relationship with one another raising this baby. <laughs> Come on. Okay, that's not how I get up there. lost, y'all. I'll turn all those on. Which I don't actually want. I just wasted that. Earth, do I get up there? Hey, Krugman followed me. I'll follow you back. Where did the. Damn it! I don't have a notification for you having followed me. So now I don't know your name. 2 a.m. here, though. Gotta sleep soon. Absolutely. Thanks for stopping in. It was nice to have you. Okay, that respawns, so that's good. Now I have a key. <clears throat> Still hang for a bit. That's cool. Bummer. 
Hmm. <laughs> How dare you not 100% Yoshi's Island casually on stream? Yeah, I don't, I've, I've never even beaten this game. Okay, hitting that guy with an egg does nothing. I can't... I can't go fast enough to get up there. I'm confuzzled. Well, there's a door. about time for the break anyway. If I don't hit that, then the thing is still open, and I can go through. Alright. That's something at least. see all them red coins, but fuck all that. <clears throat> uh, okay. <laughs> what is going on here? Sure. Boss music. That's a big boo. just not doing great. <laughs> Got this figured out. Joe, you're better than this at pool. <laughs> I used to be okay at pool. There was a, uh, you know, when you're in high school, there's just nowhere to hang out. You can't, like, you, you basically want to go to a bar. <laughs> you know, just somewhere you can be where your parents aren't. And you can't. But there was a pool hall. That was all ages. 
So we all got pretty decent. And now, uh, whenever anybody's like, let's play pool at a bar, I'm like, fuck you, I'd rather just sit here and talk. <laughs> I hate pool now. Alright. Krugman, if you're Krugman, if you log off while I'm on break, it was nice having you. Thank you for the tag. We are going to take a... take five. See you all in a bit.
And we're back! <clears throat> All Ages Pool, uh, Croker says, All Ages Pool Hall. Is this one of those things filed under things people younger than you won't remember? Yes. <laughs> I think it was, it was, it was weird even then. Um, it's literally what the music man is about, though. <laughs> a pool hall in this city! We got big trouble! Big trouble in River City! Trouble with a capital T that rhymes with P and that stands for pool! Uh... <laughs> uh... Krugman says, love this channel name. Love this channel's name. This is actually an offshoot of a different show called Sofa Justice Warriors. This is Sofa Justice Warriors Live. We have a an actual like shot in the studio here, produced show, where I do video essays on pieces of media. We've got about nine episodes up so far, and then an offshoot of that called Armchair Philosophy that are like short little two, three minute videos. Where I talk about things like, Hey, fellas, maybe you should stop reacting poorly when women cross the street to avoid you. <laughs> and here's why. And things like that. Uh, I, need, I, need to, I need to make more stuff. <laughs> I need to get back to work. I wrote a short episode last night, and I'm in the process of writing a longer one for Hedwig and the Angry Inch. And that is going, that episode is going to be a big deal. Those are all up at SofaJusticeWarriors.com if you're ever bored out of your mind and need to hear me talk for a while. <laughs> but they are all, they take a very long time to edit. And I was like, I want to do so. I have got a green screen studio. What are, I'm not doing anything with it. I might as well twitch. <clears throat> and part of the another part of the reason I did this is that YouTube's algorithms are just straight up broken. Um, <laughs> like they very heavily favor content creators who produce like tens of hours of content a week, instead as opposed to like it takes me at least a month to finish an episode of the other show, you know? but it, And then they won't promote me because it's, yeah, it's, it's a nice, long-form, thoughtful video essay that took a very long time to make, but I only release it once every few months. And so I was like, uh, how do I fix this? Oh, I will Twitch stream for like three to nine hours a week and just upload that to YouTube, and now they think I'm more prolific than I am. <laughs> it's a scam. Okay. It's basically... There's like zero left as content here, so I'm starving for some. I, I have a show! Now, my, my, my show is more, you know, like I said, like, it's in the title. It's more about social justice than, than, uh, political, than politics. But, you know, we, you can't, everything is political. There's no, there's no such thing as being apolitical, which is what I keep having to explain to my mom. And she's like, why do you bring politics into everything? And I'm like, oh, shit, I just stomped my way right through the floor. <laughs> Don't do that again! <laughs> You know, when I, I talk to my mother and, and she says something that I'm like, Mom, don't say that. And she's, why? And I'm like, it's really disrespectful to trans people or, you know, Mexicans or whoever, you know, would be... Not just... Oh, God! This level's harder than uh, I thought. This game is getting... This game is getting difficult. But yeah. Nothing is apolitical. Because politics has now we've now politicized people's right to exist and I'm queer and even explaining it to her that way where I'm like it's I'm afraid to walk down the street if I'm like holding hands with a dude and politics the way politics shapes that is important I'm not just like being a partisan hack by saying hey maybe stop treating other people like shit <laughs> Hey, maybe other people who are different from you have a right to exist. Unimpeded and unhindered. <laughs> that's not talking politics, that's just being polite. <laughs> 
trying to create a, pol a, a, a better society. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother. Oh God! Drag. One of the prevailing... Oh, I managed to not die there, but that still wasn't great. One of the prevailing messages of the show is it's totally okay to criticize something you love for doing something badly. You know? Like, I just did a glowing episode, because I, I hadn't made anything in a while, and I wanted to start off with something positive. Um... And I just did, a, like, kind of a glowing review of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, but I had to, you know, kind of remind everybody that there is a moment in that movie where they hug each other and then they get very uncomfortable and call each other a fag. And it's like, yeah, that's a not great moment in an otherwise really good movie that, that pretty much has a great message, except for that one moment. And it's okay, to, you know, it's people have this tendency to look at media as, well, it's either good or bad. It's either perfect or it's terrible. And it's... Like, one of the things I keep trying to get across, and this was in the mission statement for the show, which was my first episode, was about a movie called PCU, is... This movie's pretty entertaining, and its messages are all fucking terrible. <laughs> like, it's okay to like this movie and then roll your eyes at every horrible part of it. Okay, I got a key. And that goes there. Okay, train and train tracks. That was obviously wrong. What's the point of those guys is if when they hit me, I don't get hurt. Sure, we'll just go with that. <laughs> I know there was more to do and find there, but frankly, I don't care. Also, Re, what you said earlier, talking beats all other activities. That's kind of, yeah. I, all of my friends are super into board games. And I'm like, that's great, I'm, you know, it's a fun hobby, but do we have to be playing something every time we hang out? Because I like, to, I like to just sit around and shoot the shit. Like, my very favorite thing, and this is something uh, my friend Craig, who's guested on this show before, uh, my very favorite thing to do, and he and I do mostly just this when we hang out, is to sit around, drink bourbon, and talk. <laughs> like, that's it. We exchange ideas and rant about things that bother us, and... and... <clears throat> Krugman says, When I was in exchange abroad, I hung out with uh, many Americans, and they always wanted to do stuff, even while drinking. They wanted activities. Yeah, I'm having that problem with Americans, too, and I'm an American! <laughs> it's like, no, man, come on, let's just shoot the shit. Yeah, agreed! That's kind of, and, and, um, what's funny is that those late night conversations were on this couch, uh, before it, it became my studio couch, you know, it was just my regular couch. And, uh, I was like, I want, like, I want to watch, I would watch this show, 
you know, when Craig and I would have those conversations. Sadly, Craig is an educator, and th thus can't be on my foul-mouthed, horrible political talk show. Uh, <laughs> and also, he just moved to, he, he moved away. But, that was the thinking. I was like, this, this environment, this, like, these conversations that we have, where we, like, talk about movies and why they did the things they did and what was wrong and what was right, I would watch this show. And so I made it. <laughs> so far, it has not found an audience. But so far, I haven't advertised it. A lot of that is because I keep... I keep not making things as often as I should. Oh wow, if I eat bubbles, just spit a bunch of bubbles. Nice sofa lore, yeah. <laughs> On this very couch! But I, uh, you know, one of the other things I do is I have a, I run a karaoke business. And so we'd, we'd already have done things that night, you know, like very often. It's, we, we'd, we'd go out and host the show. I would host the show. We'd do karaoke from, oh God, I don't have the baby. Where's the baby? <sighs> we'd go out and sing karaoke all night and then we'd come home and just stay up until like five, six, seven, eight in the morning talking about things. Bill and Ted got a respectable checks YouTube. 36 views. Yeah, I think my highest viewer count is the one for my glowing fucking review of Mad... or er, essay on Mad Max Fury Road. Got like 600 or something. Krugman says, my idea of a perfect night. Yeah, it was great! Uh, a little harder to pull off when you're, when you're 35 than when we were 25. <laughs> the Cave of the Mystery Man. Oh, I already don't like this. What is going on in the background? I guess those are flies? God, I could just butt stomp. <laughs> oh my god, Shy Guy's hiding in flowers. This is the best. So yeah, this is one of those things where I'm gonna I'm gonna keep making the show, and if it if it ever hits, you know, I, I want to like a respectable kind of backlog and to have a regular production schedule before I start, like, spending money advertising it. I already spend a little money on Facebook, but Facebook is just terrible. It's a garbage fire. Um, cool. That was fun. Getting views on YouTube equals impossible. Yeah, it's, it's super hard. And then also, like, that's it's one of the reasons why I started doing the armchair philosophies, because those are real quick, is it's hard, it's hard to show somebody, oh, hey, listen to this, uh, listen to this guy talk about this movie for, uh, uh an hour. <laughs> Which is, but that's the show I like! I watch other people's shows who, who do that. Like, give me a long-form deconstruction, you know, essay any day of the week. I will watch the shit out of that. And so that's what I make. But it's hard to convince new people to check that out. The site is a joke at this point. Yeah, pretty much. The adpocalypse kind of destroyed a lot of it. And a lot of the most popular... Like, my mom... I've talked about my mom a little too much. Uh, but my mother is like, why, why would you... Nobody wants to hear you talk for that long. And I'm like, thanks, Mom. Um, but... I tell her, and this is how I feel about it, what gets the most clicks is not interesting to me. And I'd rather be successful, like, mildly successful doing the show that I want than doing what everybody seems... what seems to work, which is just lists. 
It's just dumb lists and complaints. Like Cinema Sins is just awful. Their Everything Wrong With series is just... Oh my god, it's terrible. I'm so lost and confused. <laughs> You might say, Cinem Croker says, Cinema Sins. You might say, Cinema Sins is everything wrong with YouTube. I would. I would say that. <clears throat> I did a 12 hour extra. Uh, this from Krugman. I did a 12 hour extra live stream there with all the tags and meme keywords and everything and <laughs> got literally zero views. <laughs> I streamed multiple sites simultaneously. Yeah. It's just everybody's on YouTube, and all it cares about is the algorithm. Okay, I see where I'm supposed to go, but not how I'm supposed to get there. YouTube only promotes established acts. Yes, correct. So I need to find one of those and, like, get it here somehow, but I can't. Superstar economy and all that. Correct, yeah. It's... It's, uh... And all those people toiled in obscurity until that one video. Until, you know, they, they were all overnight successes that took five years. Break this. Yeah, there we go. And then can I? I can't put that in my mouth. And I can't move it. There we go. No, oh, you're absolutely right. Oh man, I worked my ass off for a fucking mini game. game that I lost. <laughs> well, it's a fucking Mario game, so I guess I'll just go right. No, okay, so we need to get to that door. says, you may be confusing Mario games and Sonic games. <laughs> Both pretty, pretty heavily feature go to the right. Oh, 
I considered playing Undertale again today, but I th I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards that being a failed experiment. Because the chat always dies completely when I'm playing Undertale. <laughs> But I do want to finish it. So next week, maybe I'll just bite the bullet and go for it. Oh, now I get it. Except it's, uh, too late. There we go. Yay, we did it! It's still, I... Twitter app here, trying to to, to find you, uh, Krugman, Krugman. And I can't. I saw that you, like, it gave me a push notification saying that you followed me. And I clicked on it, and it didn't take me to anything. <laughs> so I'm trying to follow you back, and I can't! Ow. Oh, I get it. Miss that opportunity, don't much care. What the what? You get the feeling I'm supposed to eat this shy guy. The phone app makes baby Mario cry. I'm just so sick of Android apps that give me push notifications that, like, I click on them and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> I'm like, what, what, what was that even for? Oh, shit, I have a giant egg. I don't know what this giant egg is for. On now. There's gotta be like no. confused about what to do. Ah, uh, there we go.
No! No, I can't go up. Oh, more falling Tetris blocks! Oh god, what happened? Boy, that giant egg does not go far. new piece of information am I about to learn? Are you a good driver? Use B to avoid enemies. right? Sure. Whatever. looking at the monitor over there. I am so much bigger in this stream than I usually am. Usually I'm like, down here. <laughs> There's a big game, but this game is in 4x3. So unless I wanted to cut off the top or bottom, I had to make myself super huge. Anyway, I don't know where I am. There we go. <laughs> Just sit here and let the game play itself. This game is masturbating. stole a joke from Penny Arcade, and I don't feel great about it. Uh, what the fuck just happened there? Like, my momentum went weird on the yellow one. I don't know what, I don't know what that does.
Rightly so, Joe, rightly so. Ah, uh, yeah. Problem with this 10 second delay is whenever... <laughs> whenever you say something like that, I have no idea what you're talking about. I've, I've already moved on. Oh, it must be the penny stealing a joke from Penny Arcade. <laughs> yeah. Okay, avoid the avoid the weird yellow one. But I, I just think it's a super useful way of describing moments in games where you're just, you have no control and nothing interesting is happening. I don't care about red coins. If you're giving me eggs, I'm gonna need them. Throwing, you may stop the aiming. Oh, that's super handy. That is good to know. I'm playing this game off and on for 20 years, and I did not know that. this ball rolling. I don't have a key! That sucks. It ain't down there. Some, yep, there's a key. Oh, amazing that that doesn't break the vase. The vase. Super obscure, but that angry daisy that uh, uh, comes after you that looks ex an awful lot like Crazy Daisy Ed from Liquid Television from MTV in the 90s. <laughs> Actually had MTV in the 90s, but don't remember. It's, yeah. 
Liquid Television was this, uh, before there was YouTube, there was Liquid Television. If you were an animator and you just made a little short, uh, you could send it to MTV and be like, you guys want to air this? And they'd put it on Liquid Television. <clears throat> just independently animated stuff. One of which was Crazy Daisy Ed, which I'm sure is on YouTube. But that's where Eon Flux came from. That's where Beavis and Butthead came from. It was Liquid Television. They started out as shorts on that, and then MTV was like, oh yeah, give us more of that. To Mike Judge and... His name is Peter Chung. He did Eon Flux. Consequently, so too did Daria. Yeah! Yeah, because Daria came from Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Watching Daria now is, like, quaint. It's like, oh god, we have real problems now. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead, early Beavis and Butthead was the biggest thing when I was in junior high. Me too, we must be around the same age. dead. And, like, you can get Beavis and Butthead on DVD, but it's just the episodes, and really, like, everybody knows the best part of Beavis and Butthead is watching them trash music videos. Beavis and Butthead is also one of those examples I use when people say... Kids watching media doesn't affect them. Or like kids are smart enough, you know, we're, I was smart enough to watch Wile E. Coyote, I never dropped an anvil on somebody's head, and it's like, yes, that's true. But, all of my friends watched Beavis and Butthead, we all imitated Beavis and Butthead, not in the, like, we're gonna light fires way that, that got the show in trouble, but in the way that they're always denigrating each other, they're always fucking shitting all over each other. And we were like, oh, that must be what male friendships look like. And so we all started doing it. And it's, uh... When I, when I say things like that, people go, oh, well, do you think we should censor it then? And the answer is no. The answer is <laughs> no, I think there should just be other models of positive male behavior on television to combat it. Some other artist should make something that says the other thing. Always more information, never less. Okay. Hitting that with an arrow does nothing. I can't go down this pipe. <laughs> I may own the complete Daria series, Kroger says. Daria was great! It's just funny to look back on now. I tried watching it again recently, and I was like... What the what? Okay, I don't know what to do here. I'm lost. Well, maybe less Nazi propaganda. Agreed! But we, we touched on this just a little bit yesterday, where, like, a lot of gamers are like... Art doesn't change people's minds about anything. Also, keep all your SJW shit out of games. You're just trying to brainwash me. You're gonna brainwash the, the next generation, and it's, it's just like, okay. You've, you've just... You've just contradicted yourself. I don't remember any of that stuff, Childhood Ruined. It's fine. It's, like... The point was that these guys are dumbasses and you're not supposed to behave this way. And we got that for most of it. Like... 
but that whole like calling each other a dumbass and constantly crapping on each other, we absorbed it. God, there's a door right there. Except this... Nope, that's not my exit either. this again. I came through here. I needed a key for this. So this is like almost certainly where I'm supposed to be. That's where the circle of the, 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 the middle of the thing was. I just went through that door. This is it! This is the only place to go! I'm missing something. What it is. Expect a labyrinth. Joe, please, this is a video game for children. <laughs> okay, weird. Those guys steal baby Mario, good to know. crackers. I know where the key is. I already got the key.
Boy, I just lucked into the key on the first try. I doubt that is going to happen again. Boss. That was easy. <laughs> Got about a half hour to go. I very much doubt I'm going to get through... Welcome to Monkey World. I very much doubt I'm going to get through Monkey World in a half an hour. <laughs> Considering it's taken me two and a half hours to get through the previous two worlds. Yoshi again. Hey, we are! This is the, uh, the Yoshi standard package, not the LX. I'm enjoying the relative ease of this this first level to what we were doing. <coughs> Mr. 
mistakenly thought I, I was to join those monkeys in that swing. Somehow I wound up with every daisy. Do I have to, like, leave now? <laughs> Guess I'll just get one wrong. <clears throat> oh. oh. I would have paid more attention if I'd known. <laughs> I know this is a POW. items? Oh, we will never know. Ooh. Mildly racist uh, shy guys. <laughs> The baby! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm gonna die. But I hit the center ring. Okay, that. Those must be synced so that that one is always going up. place I can go. No. 
And dead. <clears throat> the Joe, he is confused. You can kindly fuck off. Set the number of Yoshis... Okay, so I gamble... It'll either add... Okay. We'll do five. I only got one up from that, but that's fine. <clears throat> one, one up. Nepa Nuts Domain. Okay. Listen. Let me out of here. <laughs> it always cre creep me out that they're like claymation once they get into that cutscene. Oh my 
god. I'm out of eggs. That shy guy is weird. Oh, I locked myself out of the helicopter content. We have a guest! Bonjour. The Kelly is here. Hello. You watch me suck at Mario? Yeah, I guess that's what I'm doing. I hate helicopters. Guest for the last 15 minutes? Yep, yep. pretty much. Here because he promised me food. <laughs> Has nothing to do with whether or not you enjoy my company. No. Okay, I'm just wicked confused about where I'm supposed to go right now. Like, there's content over here, <laughs> but there's no way to get there. And then, why am I a helicopter here? What is the point of that? Krugman says hi for me too, still awake. Hi again. I am the the Casper that was in, in the, chat. the channel yeah, earlier. This... In a corporeal form. <laughs> okay, now I'm back at the beginning of the level. And I want to eat anyway, and this is frustrating me. <laughs> This is... 
I am deeply annoyed. <clears throat> Corporeal form is highly overrated, would not recommend it. One of the greatest things I ever saw on Facebook ever did it. was uh, there was a woman who was complaining about how terrible a guy at her work was being. And predictably, a bunch of men showed up to go, have you tried? Have you tried this? Have you tried this? Have you tried this? And she's just like, oh, come on. And then one guy who so clearly got it went, have you tried existing as a cloud of emotionless vapor? Yeah. <laughs> And it, it just dunked on all those other guys. <laughs> and made her laugh. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was good shit. Now, am I a submarine? What's going on? That's exactly yep. what I am. Great love of the shy guy. Oh crap! The shy guy based machinery. Yes. I enjoyed that earlier. I just want to get out of this level <laughs> and be done. <laughs> yes, of course. Stop running into missiles. It's harder than it looks. This thing steers like a boat. Absolutely adore the water levels in Mario 64. I was making a general statement. But yeah, water levels usually suck. Even the water level in uh, Mario Odyssey, I don't like. <laughs> oh yes. You need to give me that fucking chill ass music from the first from Mario 64. <laughs> so I'm like, this is really relaxing. I'm like, this is I could get into this. Are different colors. Like that that's clearly important, but the game never explained to me what they do. That's a frog. <laughs> Mario starts crying when he falls off your back. Reminds me of uh of Navi. Oh yeah. I think that's I think why that, well, that's why I find that so annoying. Hey listen, hey listen. Hey, hey listen. <laughs> listen! Hey, hey listen. Shut the fuck up. Oh, that frog straight up stole Mario. <laughs> I gotta be uh Oh, it's a kidnapper. <laughs> Good. Fuck off! <laughs> I'm never gonna be invited back at this point. <laughs> I didn't give you shit when you were playing Dark Souls yesterday. I don't know why. I would have been giving me shit. Mostly because I'm worse. Well. I wasn't playing that great. <laughs> <laughs> At least by my standards. I was playing pretty poorly. <laughs> Turned out you weren't a, uh, a guest for the last 15 minutes. You were a guest for the last five, because we're calling it 10 minutes early. Five minutes. I, I want to I eat my roast. And I, we don't even get to eat it until I make the sides. I have to make the beans and rice. So... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hats, cats, and other folk for Soap and Justice Warriors, I've been Joe... Oh, and I guess I was Kelly for five minutes. <laughs> Yay! It has been an honor and a privilege. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Welcome to the newcomers, by the way. Maybe unfollow me on Twitter and then follow me again, and maybe I can follow you back this time. <laughs> Good night, everybody.